Shalom Akyam, Yahabashim Yahashai Barakatham. Today we're going to read the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapters 28 and 29. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus, or Sirach, chapter 28. He that revengeth shall find vengeance from the Lord, and he will surely keep his sins in remembrance. Forgive thy neighbor the hurt that he have done unto thee, so shall thy sins also be forgiven when thou prayest. One man beareth hatred against another, and doth he seek pardon from the Lord? He sheweth no mercy to a man which is like himself, and doth he ask forgiveness of his own sins? If he that is but flesh nourish hatred, who will entreat for pardons of his sins? Remember thy end, and let enmity cease. Remember corruption and death, and abide in the commandments. Remember the commandments, and bear no malice to thy neighbor. Remember the covenant of the highest, and wink at ignorance. Abstain from strife, and thou shalt diminish thy sins. For a furious man will kindle strife. A sinful man disquieteth friends, and maketh debate among them that be at peace. As the matter of the fire is, so it burneth. And as a man's strength is, so is his wrath. And according to his riches, his anger riseth. And the stronger they are which contend, the more they will be inflamed. And hasty contention kindleth a fire, and in hasty fighting sheddeth blood. If thou blow the spark, it shall burn. If thou spit upon it, it shall be quenched. If both and both these come out of thy mouth. Curse the whisperer and double-tongued, for such have destroyed many that were at peace. A backbiting tongue hath disquieted many, and driven them from nation to nation. Strong cities hath it, hath it pulled down and overthrown the houses of great men. A backbiting tongue hath cast out virtuous women and deprived them of their labors. Whoso hearkeneth unto it shall never find rest, and never dwell quietly. The stroke of the whip maketh marks in the flesh, but the stroke of the tongue breaketh the bones. Many have fallen by the edge of the sword, but not so many as have fallen by the tongue. Well is he that is defended from it, and have not passed through the venom thereof, who have not drawn the yoke thereof, nor have been bound in her bands. For the yoke thereof is a yoke of iron, and the bands thereof are bands of brass. The death thereof is an evil death, the grave were better than it. It shall not have rule over them that fear Yahweh, neither shall they be burned with the flame thereof. Such, such as forsake the Lord shall fall into it, and it shall burn in them, and not be quenched, it shall be sent upon them as a lion, and devour them as a leopard. Look that thou hedge li look that thou hedge thy possession about with thorns, and bind up thy silver and gold, and weigh thy words in a balance, and make a door and bar for thy mouth. Beware thou slide not by it, lest thou fall before him that lieth in wait. This is Ecclesiasticus, or Sirach, chapter 29. He that is merciful will lend unto his neighbor, and he that strengtheneth his hand keepeth the commandments. Lend to thy neighbor in time of his need, and pay thou thy neighbor again in due season. Keep thy word, and deal faithfully with him, and thou shalt always find the thing that is necessary for thee. Many, when a thing was lent them, reckoned it to be found, and put them to trouble that helped them. Till he had received, he will kiss a man's hand, and for his neighbor's money he will speak submiss submissively. But when he should repay, he will prolong the time, and return words of grief, and complain of the time. If he prevail, he shall hardly receive the half, and he will count as if he had found it. If not, he have deprived him of his money, 
and he hath gotten him an enemy without cause. He payeth him with cursings and railings, and for honor he will pay him disgrace. Many therefore have refused to lend for other men's ill dealing, fearing to be defrauded. Yet have thou patience with a man in poor estate, and delay not to shew him mercy? Help the poor for the commandment's sake, and turn him not away because of his poverty. Lose thy money for thy brother and thy friend, and let it not rust under a stone to be lost. Lay up thy treasure according to the commandments of the Most High, and it shall bring thee more profit than gold. Shut up alms in thy storehouses, and it shall deliver thee from all affliction. It shall fight for thee against thine enemies better than a mighty shield and strong spear. An honest man is surety, is surety for his neighbor, but he that is impudent will forsake him. Forget not the friendship of thy surety, for he have, for he have given his life for thee. A sinner will overthrow the good estate of his surety, and he that is of an unthankful mind will leave him in danger that delivered him. Short, surety ship have undone many of good estate, and shaken them as a wave of the sea. Mighty men have it driven from their houses, so that they wandered among strange nations. A wicked man transgressing the commandments of the Lord shall fall into a surety ship, and he that is undertaken and followeth other men's business for gain shall fall into suits. Help thy neighbor according to thy power, and beware that thou thyself fall not into the same. The chief thing for life is water, and bread, and clothing, and a house to cover shame. Better is the life of a poor man in a mean cottage than delicate fare in another man's house. Be it little or much, hold thee contented, that thou hear not the reproach of thy house. For it is a miserable life to go from house to house. For where thou art a stranger, thou darest not open thy mouth. Thou shalt entertain and feast and have no thanks. Moreover, thou shalt hear bitter words. Come, thou stranger, and furnish a table, and feed me of that thou hast ready. Give place, thou stranger, to an honorable man. My brother cometh to be lodged, and I have need of mine house. These things are grievous to a man of understanding, the upbraiding of house room and reproaching of the lender. That's Ecclesiasticus chapters 28 and 29. Yahweh Shimei Shai Barakatham, and as always, Akim Double Shalom.